this experiment, we will attempt to measure the distance between the Sun and Earth using a simple webcam. So what we are trying to calculate is the distance between the Sun and Earth. In order to be able to calculate that, we need to know the diameter of the Sun. Using our webcam, we can measure the angular diameter of the Sun, which is the angle we mark with beta. As you can see, using the two pieces of data, we can set a right-angled triangle up, one side of which is half of the diameter of the Sun, the other one is the distance between the Sun and Earth. What we are looking for is the length of the side B of the triangle. As you might know, we can calculate side B by knowing the length of one other side and one angle of the right angle triangle. The easiest way to calculate this is by using the formula B equals A divided by tangent alpha, where A equals to half of the diameter of the Sun and alpha is half of the measured angular diameter. So our task now is to measure the angular diameter of Sun. In order to do this, first we have to know the total viewing angle of our camera. You can use the downloadable protractor sheet that you can find on the webcam laboratory website. Place the camera in the middle of the sheet. Place a pencil at zero degrees. Rotate the camera so the pencil should be at the edge of the screen. Then, by holding the camera tight, you should place the pencil over to the other edge of the screen. Next, let's read the total viewing angle from the protractor sheet. In our case, it is exactly 45 degrees, but that can vary from webcam to webcam. Now, let's make a simple filter in order to make the powerful rays of the sun detectable by the webcam. We can obtain such a filter by suiting a piece of glass. Very important, never look directly into the sun, not even through your suited glass filter, because direct sunlight can cause permanent eye damage. Once you are ready, direct your camera towards the sun while looking at the monitor of your computer. Find the webcam position when the sun's diameter appears the smallest and take a picture. If necessary, you can use the color calibration panel in order to give more contrast to the picture. Next, press the size calibration button. Here you have to set the size of the total viewing angle, which in our case is the previously measured 45 degrees. You should use universal measurement units. All you have to do now is to measure the diameter of the sun. For this, you can set the zoom to maximum if needed. It makes sense to use the smallest appearing diameter since optical and atmospheric distortions usually enlarge the appearing diameter and seldom decrease it. As you can see, the angular diameter of Sun is 0.52 degrees observed from Earth. Let's get back to the calculation. We need to obtain the diameter of Sun. In order to get that, you can use the Internet. You then should divide the value by 2. After this, you should calculate the value of tangent alpha. In order to achieve that, let's divide 0 0.52 degrees by 2. And take its tangent.
Now you have all the necessary data in order to calculate the distance of Sun from Earth. Now we do the division. The result is approximately 150 million kilometers, which is an exceptionally punctured figure compared to the fact that we are using a simple webcam to make the measurement. Congratulations!